Hello people, how are you doing? Welcome, my name is Adam. This is Memento Mori, okay? So wonderful to be making a video. Uh, I have not made a video in months, months and months. Uh, and I honestly, I don't know what's up with every winter. Uh, I just kind of disappear for this extended period of time. Um, maybe it's seasonal depression. I, I don't know, honestly, uh, because certainly, you know, if you've, if you've kept up with me on, on, on Twitter or Instagram or wherever, uh, you know that I'm, I'm still very much present. Uh, and as always, my absence uh, on here is in no way a reflection of, of, you know, me not reading or something ridiculous like that. Uh, you know, uh, again, say it with me, there is no such thing as a book slump, okay? I don't know, I, I, I guess it's a multitude of things. Uh, earlier in the year I did move, um, but I, I only moved like four blocks from where I was living before, but you know, you still gotta move all your crap from point A to point B. Um, but again, that was at the beginning of the year, um, so I, I don't really have an excuse. But I'm here right now, and that's all that matters. And I want to thank everybody who who have you know stay subscribed, or even those who have subscribed uh, since since I've left. Uh, and yes, I'm, I'm once again back. The word really is consistency. How can I be consistent? Um, because you know. Ultimately, of course, my, my, <laughs> my, my end goal, not my end goal, but I would love to have, you know, uh, a Patreon uh, for people to support the, the channel. You know, a Patreon is, is a, a, a way for people to uh, have their viewers um, support their channel if they want. Um, and listen, if, if some of the people on here who are collecting coins for their channel can do it, certainly, you know, Memento Mori can get a slice of the pie. But I think the problem with that is if you put out the tip jar, the monkey has to dance, right? <laughs> and, and if the monkey is disappearing for weeks or even months at a time, what's the point? What's the point? Um, so yeah, the word is consistency. Uh, the, the problem with that is Memento Mori is more than just a channel, you know, the the words and the images that are flowing out of me and into the, your home uh, is more of an experience. This is more of an art installation than, you know, April favorites where I'm dangling a bath bomb. This is, you know, something visionary, if you will. And how does one go about scheduling art? You know, I can't just say, well, it's Tuesday, it's time for a video, so, you know, I need the muse to come out like that. It just doesn't work like that. So I think the trick is is finding something that that can create a consistent schedule while still really nurturing my vision in an organic way. Okay. <laughs> Are you still subscribed? <laughs> uh, but yeah, really, uh, I do want to be consistent with it, and I, I do plan to. Um, work on, on new ways to be able to do that, okay? And, and yeah, I did just want this to be a quick hello, but I thought I would go ahead and mention quickly what I am reading. Um, and this first one here, you know, I missed a handful of months uh, with my uh, Memento Mori Book to Film Club. Uh, I missed a handful of months, and I'm not gonna go back and do a video for each of the titles, uh, but I, I do wanna do maybe like a cumulative uh, video for, for the whole shebang. Uh, and I, I mostly kept up with it uh, even in my absence. Uh, uh, but one that I didn't, and that I have been slowly working through in the, the past few weeks, uh, is the uh, graphic novel or, or manga series Akira, okay, uh, by uh, Katsuhiro Otomo. And uh, it's, it's a big step for me to pick this up, people, okay, because, um, you know, I, I have this unfair prejudice against white people who are super into manga, okay, it creeps me out, uh, and, you know, I, I have to be gentle with this, but... It's, it's a certain brand of people, you know, they're sitting there, they're flipping through their manga, they're sipping their bubble tea and they're smacking their lips. And you know, the, the keychains are jangling on their backpack and uh, you know, they got that, that K-pop going. And uh, you know, they all read Haruki Murakami, uh, which is fine, I read him too. But um, you know, I read Haruki Murakami and they read Aruki Mirakami-san. Okay, <laughs> and it's like, why are you pronouncing it like that? You're from Pittsburgh, for Christ's sake. 
you know? Your mother's name is Kathleen. Why are you pronouncing it like that? Um, and usually it's because, you know, they took like an introductory course to, to Japanese lit or, or something in, in college. Um, and, and now they're a master and, and you know, they, they recommend, you know, some small press Asian translated lit, you know, just so you know that they know what's up with it. Um, and it's, it's just a whole thing, okay? The white people and the manga and, and all that, it, it's a situation. And I, I am totally self-aware that this is all in my head. Um, these are all just crazy thoughts. And I am working through it with my therapist. Um, and, and by therapist, of course, I mean one, just one reader. Um, but yeah, I, 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 am, I am enjoying Akira. And uh, I do, I love the film. Uh, you know, uh, for me, Akira is probably the greatest animated film ever made, uh, at least from a, a technical standpoint. Um, I don't know about story-wise, but visually, I think it's just one of the greatest feats um, if not the greatest feat uh, in hand-drawn animation. If, you, if you've never watched the film, um, you really owe it to yourself, even if you're not into to animation or anime or all that, uh, because it's, it's an absolute spectacle. Um, but, and, and the book or the manga series is nice because uh, the, the movie actually came out um, in the middle of, of this when it was originally published. This is six vo volumes long. I'm on the third one right now. but. Um, it came out before the, the graphic novel series um, even ended. So, um, for example, like I said, I'm, I'm three volumes into it, and pretty much all of the events that took place within the movie uh, have already occurred within this. So, as I, I, I continue my way through it, it's almost kind of like, like watching a sequel to the film, uh, because it's all... Um, new stuff. So I am enjoying Akira, okay, working through my, my whole issue with that. Um, still not drinking bubble tea though, okay. And, and then the actual novel that I'm just starting to sink into, okay, look at the size of this guy. <laughs> it's Matterhorn by Carl Melantes, okay, and uh, his 600 page epic uh, involving the, the Vietnam War, okay? It took him uh, 30 years to write. Uh, Marlantes was a, a Vietnam vet himself. And uh, you know, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Carl throws us right in. We're deep in the, in the Vietnam jungle and it's raining and we're filthy and we're searching for mines and we're covered in leeches. Um, <laughs> the, first, the first chapter, again, I'm only 50 pages in and we're in it. Uh, this dude, uh, what's it? It's about a, a young dude, uh, what's his name here? Uh, uh, second Lieutenant Mellis, who is this young kid who's put in charge of this platoon of all these other young men. They have no idea what they're doing. Um, and, and yeah, they're covered in leeches. And um, this corporal uh, gets a, a leech that, that crawls up his dick, okay? It crawls in his dick hole. And uh, he, he can't urinate and he's in, in horrible pain. And they're, they're trying to get a, a chopper out to, to you know, take him away for, for medical, but they're having trouble getting one because, you know, they're hesitant to send um, choppers out because they're all getting shot down. Um, so they, all they have is like a, a candle and a knife and they got to cut his dick open to get this leech out. And uh, yeah, this is all within the first 50 pages, people. Like, you know, I'm in it. Like, I'm there the water's up to here. I got the, the, you know, black stuff on my face, the, the hat on, the weeds surrounding me. I'm in it, okay? I'm having flashbacks and I wasn't even born during the Vietnam War, okay? Uh, so, so yeah, I will have the greatest time just working my way through Matterhorn. And um, yeah, that, that's um, all I'm reading right now. Uh, and that's all I have to say, you guys. Again, the word is consistency. Uh, nurturing my muse, <laughs> spreading that artistic uh, energy and warmth and, uh, you know, living in the now. I don't know. <laughs> we're, we're here. We're back. Uh, I look forward to talking to you all. Uh, again, keep in touch with me on here and through my social media on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, again, thank you for, for watching and continuing to watch. I'm back. Okay.